This week on What's Good Cape Cod, we remember a Cape Cod music legend and we talk about two nearly free community resources that we bet you don't know about. I'm Sarah Lapsley Martin. And I'm Katie Clancy. Welcome back to What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. And each Tuesday, we drop a new video that tells you about a person, place, and thing you think you should know about. That's right. So we're going to start this week on a little bit of a sad note. Our person is Mark Hennessy, and no person is better suited, I think, to talk about Mark than Sarah. Thank you. (laughs) So, yes, our person is a musician, and everyone knows how much Marty and I love music. We met at a concert. We follow bands around the country, really. And now, more recently, we bring Liv to all this local music. We have so much great local music here. Um, music is one of those things that brings people together. It's good for the soul. And it can it, it can bring you back in time. So I know, like, if I hear a song on the radio, maybe it will be like a Michael Jackson song that my dad used to play on the radio. It will bring me back to being in the backseat of the station wagon, yeah. <laughs> shoved in with my brother and sister. Um, so music is just one of those things that, that, that really does bring us all together. And so our person this week is Mark Hennessy, um, who we sadly lost just a few weeks ago, um, after a battle with cancer. Um, very sad, uh, very sad for the whole community. Um, Mark was really, he was, he was more than just a musician. He, he's truly a Cape Cod legend. Um, and anyone who's ever spent any time here visiting, living, I feel like knows who Mark Hennessy is. Um, the, the music scene on the Cape and just Cape Cod summers in general really won't be the same. He is going to be truly missed by everyone. Um, and it never, it didn't matter how old you were. Um, he just had that stage presence. And if you ever saw him, he had this big, bright smile that would just really light up a room. I mean, he was like one of those guys and you would talk to him and you'd feel like you were his friend instantly, like just that kind of, that kind of person. Um, so a little bit about Mark. He was a local, graduated from DY. And his family used to own a restaurant. Um, this is before my time. I didn't know about this, but it was called Hennessy Steakhouse in Dennisport. Um, and he was really influenced by the hip bands that played at the restaurant. And he picked up a guitar at age nine. And it was kind of like his passion ever since. Um, and he is a lucky person who truly built his career on doing something he loved. He loved music. I mean, how many people dream of of, of having music and having that be their lifetime career. So many people, and he really mastered it. Um, he started out with playing like a band with his brother, the H- brothers, is the Hennessy brothers. And then most recently he's known for the Cape Cod Slackers. And he plays with Jeff, AKA Hollywood, who plays sax and other instruments. He's amazing. Um, and Mark and, and, and Hennessy and the Slackers, they have played at so many places that we would all know. Um, sub and pub. I mean, places uh-huh. that are there sub not anymore. Club. Yes. <laughs> so sub and pub in West Dennis, the wind jammer steamers, the Irish pub, um, and places that are still around like Chapin's, the lost dog, the woodshed, um, and the ocean house. He would play the beach bar on Tuesdays. Um, so many different places that he would play and he was just loved at all of them. And he also just didn't play at the Cape. He would travel to the Caribbean and play and Florida as well. His, his, one of his brothers, I think would maybe some uh, winter down in Florida. So he'd go down there, he'd book some gigs. Um, and I actually started seeing Mark when I was old enough to go to the bar. So 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, like you never went you know. before then, but we won't talk about that. Right. <laughs> so I've, I've been for 20 years. Um, and you know, there's just too many times to count, you know, back then we can, I can think back to crazy times being in my twenties and just remember (laughs) him and his music there. Um, And when Marty and I got engaged, we started planning our wedding and I knew I wanted Mark as the wedding band, but of course we had to ask Marty and, you know, have him involved in it. So we actually, we were living out in Colorado then and we flew home to the woodshed and I took him out there. And after like two songs, Marty's like, yep, this is great. We're going to have him for the wedding. We booked, I think we might've even booked him that night. We're like, <laughs> okay. You know, and Mark was always so laid back. Like I remember planning it. I was like, okay, what are we going to do in this spot? This part? He's like, sir, like I got it. It was like, you know, it, it was like no big deal. Like he knew yep. what he was doing, obviously. <laughs> and, yep. Um, he nailed the wedding. Like he's done it. So many other weddings. Um, our guests, still talk about it. The dance floor was never empty. It was packed all night dancing. And it was just, 
it was amazing. And even Marty's parents loved him so much that then we would go visit them in Florida in the winter and we'd go see him in Naples. Oh, so we got, I didn't like, know that. Yeah, oh. we get like all their friends hooked. So like he had all of like Marty's friend, mom's friends and everything, yeah. like all the couples would go dance and everything. And so he definitely was someone that could really draw a crowd and, and people would just love him. And, and, you know, Liv, we, we've been bringing her out since she had like her little headphones on and everything. Yep. And now she likes being front row. She likes dancing and she loves when she can like request a song or something. And she'll like put the tip money in. And she is a super fan of Mark, um, truly. And, you know, Mark was always so good to her. And I like, even now, like we'll hear a song on the radio, like Coda Chrome or September. And she's like, Oh, that's Mark's song. You know, like, oh, obviously, you know, it's not Mark's song. <laughs> yeah. but she's like, Oh, that's Mark's song. And and we were lucky enough, or he was lucky enough to play one more last show, um, you know, before he passed, he played at Cape Cod Beer. It was their annual 18th birthday bash. And it was, I mean, not a dry eye in the house. It was so great that he was able to play that last show outside. It was a beautiful day. Everyone, you know, there were so many people that loved him there from all different places. Um, you know, and he got to he got to do it his way and, and, you know, go out with a bang. We'll say it was, Aww. it was a beautiful day. Um, and yeah, it, you know, just for me, Mark's been there through so many stages of my life and I'm sure there's so many people in the community that have done the same thing. Um, he's going to be missed by, you know, the whole community. Yeah. Oh, well, Sarah, and, that's, and, and, I, and I know we were talking earlier about, you know, how much music means to us that maybe, these musicians might not realize it at the time. Like, wow. you know, we go see their shows, but the impact that they have on us and our lives and our children, I mean, it's, it's amazing. so true. So if, yeah, that is what we were talking about. So if anybody yeah. is listening to us or, or watching us right now and you're a musician and you play out in public and you wonder if we care, huh? Yeah we care, you matter, we love it. You make such a difference in our life. And like, especially during the pandemic, we missed live music so much. Like you guys are so important and, you know, it just <laughs> take Mark uh, as, as an example. And if anybody could just be a little bit like Mark, you'll, you'll, you'll be okay. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that was an awesome tribute, Sarah. I think he would have appreciated it very yes. much. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, <laughs> Moving on yes. um, to our place and our thing. So the place and the thing that we chose this week are both two very cool, like amazing yeah. resources, abundant resources that we have here on Cape Cod that I bet a lot of you didn't realize because I tell you what, Sarah and I did not really truly realize what was available to us. Yeah. So the first one is a place. It's Cape Cod Media Center, which is on Shad Hall Road in Dennisport. So you might be familiar with Cape Cod Media Center because it's got like the local access. You're like, how are you going to see the town meeting on TV? You know, uh, you know, between two ferns, like whatever, like your your local access programming is. And we joke about like local access program. You know, it's this little hokey little hometown thing. And yes, you know. There is all of that. Like, and the reason there's all of that is because it is a community. So what I didn't understand is what made it a community media center. Like how, how were these people getting to put these shows on? I'm like, where are they getting the money to like rent out this studio, produce this, like hire the people? Like, how are they actually doing it? I never really thought about it. So recently I was there on a tour with uh, Leadership Cape Cod and, oh my God, you guys. So <laughs> a long time ago, so let me, let me just tell you this. I was bowled over when I was like, so how does this work? How do you get here? And like, cause they were like, anybody can come and use this and use that. I'm like, really anybody? They're like, yeah, it's like $40 a year. And I'm like, excuse me, a year? Like, I thought it'd be like, What? So $40 a year for an ind individual membership, $100 for a, a professional membership, a business membership. And there's, uh, you can see the details on their website, but it's funded through the cable company. So 
a long, long time ago <laughs> when the cable companies wanted to get their cable run on the same lines that were going through all the towns that carried our electricity and telephone, the, the towns, the communities made a deal with the cable companies like, okay, you can run your cable on our infrastructure, but you have to make this you know, media accessible to the community. It's genius. So, what a great deal. Right? So it's funded by the cable companies largely and then you know, supplemented by memberships. And you can go in there. There's a professional podcast studio. And inside that, it, it's either in that room or in another room, there is a, it just looks like a corner because it's got all the professional like baffles and everything for if you're going to read like an audio book. So if you write something and you want just to have the audio recorded, it's all right there. You can do that. So podcast, audio, uh, rec- you know, voiceover recordings for anything, books or whatever it might be. Um, three different sound stages. One of them has a green screen, so you can put whatever you want back there. Another one has curtains, and you can set it up with any kind of chairs that you want. And there's even a kitchen one where you can do like a cooking show. Or, so or, or cool. Yes. Oh my like, goodness. I was there. I'm like, you're kidding me. Amazing. What an opportunity that is there. So all this time, you and I have been sitting here just shooting everything on Zoom, <laughs> thinking we didn't have any other option. Stay tuned, you guys. You never know where you may. Maybe we'll do a cooking show. (laughs) Maybe we'll do a cooking show. I'm thinking what's possible with the green screen, like what we could put behind us. Just saying. That'll be cool. (laughs) Um, So we'll put all the website information up here for you guys to to go check it out. But I highly recommend that if you've been like, oh, I'd love to start a podcast, but I don't even know. I don't have any equipment. Oh, I'd love to start doing some video for my business. Oh, I don't have any equipment. I don't know where to do it. They'll do free. They'll help you do like for nonprofits. They'll let you do PSAs. Um, They'll it's 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 limitless what what's available there. So. Highly recommend check out the Cape Cod Media Center in uh, Dennis Park. The next one is a thing and it is um, it's also a community resource Mm -hmm. and it's it's a Cape Save, which people often confuse with Mass Save. So we'll start with Mass Save. Mass Save is a program, um, a state program. And I have to open up my little cheat sheet here. Um, where it's a home energy program. So if you open your electric bill, this is kind of a similar model as to what with the cable companies on your electric bill, there is a tiny little, like every time you pay that bill, like 17 cents or something goes to mass save. What is that? Well, mass save is a program to help make homes more energy efficient. And obviously if you're gonna save energy, we gotta pay for energy. If you're gonna save energy, you're gonna spend less money. And, but, how do you do that? You need, you need a contractor to come in and execute on the home energy program. So the, in this program, they offer um, weatherization. Uh, air, they'll like help you seal up drafts in your house. They'll help you with ventilation. They'll, you get free light bulbs, like energy efficient light bulbs. Home, this one family in Katuit, uh, they did um, the the cost of the improvements that they did if they didn't have Cape Save was $3,485. The Mass Save subsidized $3,102. So the, the, these people in Katua only paid $456 for over about $3,500 worth of work done on their house. Another um, couple in South Yarmouth had $5,682 worth of work done for free. They didn't have to pay a dime and you just never know like what you might be able to get for it. And Sarah, you and I were talking before, we recommend this to our, our real estate clients, buyers and sellers, right? Yeah. We recommend it all the time. I know our home inspector does, but it's definitely a program that most people don't know about. Yeah. They don't understand. They always think that, you know, this Cape save, Oh, I'm just, you know, I, I have to hire these people to come in and do a consult. It's going to cost me money to have them come in. And then it's going to cut, co- you know, they're going to try to sell me some work. 
No, my friend, it's a free consult. Yes. And you choose whatever work you want them to do, but like yeah. the, at the very least, you're going to leave with some light bulbs. Okay. I mean, at the very least, <laughs> but like, and, and if you get the work done, you'll probably save money on your electric bill. Well, and that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> you'll save exactly. money on your electric bill, your yeah. heating bill, your cooling yeah. bill. And for real estate clients, for our clients, we, you know, you and I both tell our people, like we're always, our buyers are always coming in and asking the listing agent, well, you know, what are the utility costs on this house? Yeah. Well, we'd like to say they're very low. And so that helps you when you're trying to sell your house. And as a buyer, if you are going to buy a house that you're like, oh my God, they've got these drafty windows and the insulation's shot and the light bulbs are like, you know, live <laughs> flames and, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Do yeah. not like, don't worry about it. Yeah. See, maybe you can get a discount on the house because it's so inefficient. Who knows? And it's not going to cost you very much to upgrade that stuff. So you've always got an option there with Cape Save to execute the Mass Save program yes. that you've already paid for. Yes. Through your life. them today. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. It's, it's so cool. It's just kind of like a, a sport to find out what you actually saved with it. Um, Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, all right, I think that's it for this episode. So now you know what's good Cape Cod. If you are watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you can get notified the next time we drop a new show. And if you're looking for more information about anything we talked about today or past episodes, visit our website at whatsgoodcc.com. See you later.